Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Good. That's good. So, what's on the schedule for today? Um, I don't know. What do we got? Yeah, I don't know either. You know, we could always do BTS. Oh. Like K pop? Yeah. Do we do that already? I mean, we may or may not have done that already. That's so, that one. let's. I don't see why we can't do it again. Hey guys. Hey. hey. You got any ideas? I don't think we have any, no. Yeah. I got you guys. Hey, I love you. Okay. Hey. All right. So, I want to know what do you think nostalgia is? Um. Um. Mm -hmm. So, I think nostalgia is. For me personally, I whenever I tend to feel nostalgic, I think of. I, it's kind of a mix of the two. It's kind of embarrassing moments that I did, or, or embarrassing things that I did when I was younger, but then when I think about it, I laugh it off, and then it just makes me remember how naive and like innocent I was as a kid. It's a moment. It's a, it just takes you back to that moment where you, that you cherish, and it's like really, really precious. Yeah, I just say it's, it's just a, a deep, uh, like a deep back moment. That's what it is to me. To me, nostalgia feels like a point in your life where you just felt happy because I don't really feel like a lot of people associate nostalgia with like bad feelings. It's always like whenever you feel like that, you're like, oh my God, like I wish I could go back to that. So it's like, you're kind of sad, but it's not like you're remembering a bad time. You're remembering like a happy time. So yeah, I just feel like it's just a time in your life that you were so happy and you just want to like, just get back to that exact time. Nostalgia is just like plain and simple longing for the past and just like a drifting feeling that comes to you out of nowhere. Kind of puts you in a mental time machine and back to way back when, whenever. Sometimes, I mean, I don't, I don't even get nostalgia for things from when I was a kid. I get it for like things that happened to me like three years ago, you know, like just a moment. So yeah, that's what I think. What's one nostalgic moment or nostalgic thing that will stick with you forever? I still remember the premiere day, the premiere night of High School Musical. I was at my grandparents' house. They had the big flat screen TV. So when it came on, I was like there by myself in the living room just watching it. And then like all the, um, the songs and the dancing that happened just like blew my mind. I was like, the, the TV was right here and I was standing like this, like watching the whole thing. It was, it's embarrassing because I tried dancing to it. I tried singing along to it. And then I, I got like so obsessed with it. But then it's also really, it makes me happy because I made so many like great memories with High School Musical. It's now like a classic, I think for like our generation. When I got put on to Naruto, that was like a whole different like ball game. Everyone was collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but me and my friends, we were like printing out Naruto pictures and trading them, like who had the best pictures, like ah, uh, like we used to have stacks of folders, like of different Naruto pictures and just like, yo bro, like I want this one, nah, I want this one. Just imagine like a, like little kids running around with like a big folder stacked with like Naruto pictures and like begging our teachers like, could you print this one out for me? I'm trying to trade someone later for a picture. And I'm like, yeah, that's like the, like the one moment I will always cherish and remember. This one's kind of weird. It was when my mom first like installed cable for us. The dude was like hooking it up or whatever. I don't know why, but the first channel it was on was ironically Cartoon Network. And I remember the first show I ever seen on Cartoon Network was Camp Laszlo. So whenever I see that show, I'm like, this was the first show that I watched on Cartoon Network. 2008, 2009, like around that time, Cartoon Network was just like amazing. Like all the shows, I can't even name all the shows that I watch, but just that, time that Cartoon Network was in, it was like, it's like a relatable thing. Um, this moment always comes to me in the early hours of the morning and usually it's when I open the window to let fresh air in and I attach that to this memory of me as like a kid spending vacations with my grandma in New York and having to like wait for hours after sunrise because I've always woken up at sunrise for her to like get up and start her day so all I would do is sit at the windowsill on a chair and just look out into the street and see everybody start their day and that's what really 
that's really when I started to fall in love with New York and it sticks with me. It's just interesting to like see and hear everybody's different nostalgic moments and like how nostalgia makes people feel. I remember me and my twin brother, like when we were three years old, that's when we first got like our first game console. My older cousin was like, yo, I don't want my Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 anymore. Yeah, I can have it. Me and my brother were like three years old playing um, like Yoshi's Island or like Super Mario All-Stars. And like, I remember me and my brother just like playing. I always wanted to be Mario, but my brother was like, no, I'm Mario. So I had to be like Luigi, even though I hated being Luigi. Like one nostalgic moment, like just every Friday when me and my brother used to get home, we just used to play Yoshi's Island and Mario All-Stars like for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. What do you think like nostalgia is to you? Like I want to ask the people that are viewing this like what do you think nostalgia is for you? And like what's an experience that you have an experience with? And like what are some things that trigger you to feel these emotions and like maybe share some of your memories, feelings or opinions? This has been your YC Weekly about nostalgia. See you later.